My HIV infected dick. Craig Pigbottom says, is it me or is Paz Convert down? Pigbottom for dirty old men, 25 gay UK. Always bottom, always bareback. When I was 17, I got into a five-year relationship with an older man, the first gay I met. To make up for lost experience in my youth, I became a dirty, raw bottom pig slut. I'm also a bug chaser. Being paused would give me freedom to enjoy BB sex. I would let my VL count get really high. The UK is a much beloved locale among many bug chasers, and good for them for upholding their strong Anglo-Saxon identity. When will this shit end in America? When will this blatant bigot against gay people end. When we start locking up homophobes for very long sentences the way they lock their asses up in the UK and other civilized countries, there's nothing more civilized than a group of people who engage in public sodomy and do it with such frequency that its own unique term is used. And I can't forget about all the AIDS cocktails paid for by the wonderful National Health Service. Coming to you soon, America. Pip, pip, cheerio, mother. My ass was made for pause loads. Married, closeted, bug chaser knocked up with a homeless man's AIDS baby. Get it, men. LOL. Man sex is a virus, one that uses men as its host. Some try to resist it, others embrace it as the source of life and meaning. We live to breed the same sex virus, to pass it on to every random anonymous dude we meet and fuck. It's how we reproduce, man. We shoot viral loads every time. Our jizz ain't for making babies. Our sex spreads like wildfire, squirting out of one man's dick. Shooting deep and Inside another, then another, and another. Join in, buddy, you'll never look back. 2,353 notes. Come whore faggot in Satan's phallic service. Breed me, O oh demonic cock, so that I might serve you in lust and perversion. Hail Satan, the dark fallen lord. Hail Phallus, the one true god. Hey look, it's the new Pledge of Allegiance. That moment when a bug chaser asks you to share your gift with him on Grinder. Nah, this is just an obscure Tumblr thing. It doesn't exist in real life. I'm so sick of bug chasers. How is this even still a thing? Several times a week I get messages from guys who just want to get fucked by me so they can end up HIV positive themselves. It's even worse when they are attractive and seem normal. Confessions Friday. I confess that the highest number of men chatted with me on Grinder when I pretended to have HIV. I'm craving your big thick pause load, daddy. I want your bug deep inside my hole. I'm craving unloading my big thick cocks pause load in you, boy, and pushing my bug deep inside your hole. Message me privately and we can try to arrange a hookup. Toxic seed needs hull, seeking bug chasers for my pause load. News flash. Have you blessed an unknown victim, anyone, with your toxins? There were a couple of sex parties and dungeon dark rooms where I wasn't sure if they were pause or neg, but they wanted the load bad, and pretty much they wanted all the loads bad, just like I wanted the loads until one day the test was pause. Personally, I'm not turned on by stealthing. I'm turned on when people know what I got and they want it raw BB and get off on the load pause. Or neg. One can't talk dirty about taking or giving a toxic load unless the other one is on the deal. When guys say they want to be stealthed, I view it as someone who really isn't ready to face knowing they're taking a pause load. Knowing or not knowing is all in your mind. If you are taking loads bareback at a glory hole darkroom bathhouse, you are taking pause loads or fucking a pause hole. So until you're ready to face a pause cock and say, I want your pause load and rather be secretly converted, well, you're not ready. Knowing or not knowing, want to be pause, you got to get over over that aspect. At least he's considerate about when, where, and how he gives HIV. There's a special place in heaven for bug chasers. Oh no, I'm not gonna make a joke about that nightclub. No, that would be homophobic, and therefore that would be anti-West. Because there are very proud traditions our people started that we need to uphold. On Grinder at school right now, begging guys to breed me today, getting a breeding from a pause guy who has bred me like 50 times blindfolded. And 60% of people identify with this. They're Shabos heteros. And now for the disturbing grand finale. I was offered $100,000 per year for the next 10 years to be real sex slave by a private club. The club is a group of 100 plus bears, all financially successful and discreet. They keep a stable of 10 sex slaves. They keep a stable of 10 sex slaves. One has just finished a 10 year stint and is moving on, so there's a spot for another. There are several non-negotiable requirements. Must be under 5'9". Must have a penis under 4'9". 
four and a half inches erect, two and a half or smaller flaccid. Must have no natural hair growth on chest and butt. Must be castrated, non-negotiable. Must be willing to have nipple enlargement training. Must undergo full body electrolysis. Must be willing to never have a normal male ejaculation ever. Must have all teeth except for the top eight and bottom eight removed. Must be willing to accept female hormones. Must be willing to participate in very rough sex to include very hard face, chest, penis, and butt slapping. Must be willing to receive anal and oral sex upon request averages 10 times per day. Must never speak unless spoken to. If an answer requires more than yes sir, no sir, then must ask if I may speak further. I fit all these requirements. I am 33 years old but still get carded since I have very little facial hair. I am a straight male but was approached by several of these club members in a gym. They will pay that amount but want me to understand that I will never be the same after the 10 years. I will be given all living requirements but will be a completed slave with no human rights. Oh, it's also not on US soil. Would you do it? Is it worth it? Welp. I've grown, ain't I? The skinny nigga with the fro to the slightly bigger nigga who's a killer with the flow. Went from YouTube beats and SoundCloud nigga. The only difference now is that I found Twitter. Fuck it, it's struggle rap, man. They never see the trouble that I'm going through. The way I sing, they think I live in bubble rap. Fuck all that, even though I'm on some poppin' shit. With my niggas as my witness, I'm a nigga who can spit. Don't believe me? Overlooking my potential, I'm that poet to a phone, that poet wise to a pencil. My mental is similar to that of a lion, and I'm the king of.